Greetings everyone. In today's video, we will quickly learn about a useful and easy to use PDF editor Wondershare PDF element. Let's get started. For more contents like this, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. So today, we will be using the Wondershare PDF element. It has both free and paid versions. We will be using a full paid version. Open the browser and search for Wondershare PDF element. This is the one. Click on it. Let me click on free download. The installation file is here. So in folder and double click on it. Install. The installation will take some time. So it's done. Start now. By the way, here are the pricing details. Anyway, let me log in, enter the email ID and the password. So we are logged in. Now let's first begin by creating a very simple fillable PDF. For that, go back, go to file and create and blank PDF. By the way, there are lots of free and VIP templates that can be used too. However, for this video, we will quickly create one from a blank PDF. Now let's create a dummy PDF. Make sure you are on edit or else click on it. Click on add text. Write the headings for it or anything. If you highlight this and click here, you can see more options. Like you can change the font family, font sizes, font color, bold, italics, underline, strike, make alignments, adjust caps, etc. Anyway, for now, let me quickly create a random PDF. You can also add an image by clicking on add image. Here's our sample logo. Place it where you want to keep it. If you right click and go to properties or click here, you have the option to rotate images, reverse image, align it, or crop image. Also change the opacity of the image, or simply replace the image. So it's done. Now let me add some links. I'll add open a web page, select this, and add the URL. You can also add watermarks, add watermarks. Here are options to use text, PDF, or you can also use an image. If I use text, I can write watermarks like this. You can change the font family, font sizes, colors, and other things here. This is for the position of the watermarks. I'll cancel this. Likewise, you can use another PDF or use an image and use it as watermark accordingly. I'll cancel this for now. You can also customize the background, add background. You can use color or PDF or an image. I will use a color. Let me choose a color. Save and apply. You can as well add headers and footers. Write your text here. Choose the font family, sizes, colors, etc. This is for the position. This is for the extreme left. If you want it at the center, so it is center. Or if you want a footer, select the position and add text. You can add the headers, footers to all the three places accordingly. So this blue indicates the position. Save it and apply. So we have the header and the footer. Seems like the header is a little below. Let me edit the position. So you can define the position from top, bottom and left or right for headers and as well as the footers. Likewise, you can add page number. 001 it's at the center at the moment choose the position and 
write the text. And adjust the position as required. And save and apply. Now after everything is done, let's create a fillable space. For that, simply go to form. This text box will add a space to add text, place and adjust it accordingly. This text one won't appear later when the PDF file is completed. You can create another text or simply copy and paste this. This will add a checkbox. This will add a radio button. This is for a combo box. And this is for a list box. You can also add a button. I will not use this. Also add an email placeholder where people can upload photos. You can also add space for a digital signature. And here's a date field. So that's all about it. Let's save this PDF. Go to file, save as, give it a name and save. So we have this PDF document ready which can be mailed to anyone. This PDF opens with normal PDF as well. You won't require Wondershare PDF element. So anyone can use it. And you can see it's fillable. This is what the date looks like. Takes place. Checkmark and radio buttons. Links. This is an image placeholder. And you can add a digital signature. So this is how you can make a fillable PDF using the Wondershare PDF element. If you want to make changes to the PDF, simply drag it to the Wondershare PDF element. Now you can also edit and modify any PDF files. For instance, this is a PDF form and we want it to edit. We want to customize it, change the text and use our own logo. To edit it, open the PDF with Wondershare PDF element. You can drag it to the PDF element or go to file and open and open the sample PDF. Let me zoom out. Now you can fully customize this PDF file. Click on edit tab and if I click on add text, you can add your own text over here. And the app automatically detects all the writable text on the PDF. So you can change the text of the form as you want. So these tools makes it super easy to make changes. Change any text as you like. You can edit or move this image as well. If you right click and go to properties, I'll replace the image with our own logo and adjust it accordingly. You can add more images. You can add links to the PDF and add a web address. You can add a background. You can add headers and footers as we did earlier and make the necessary changes as required. And you can add a page number too. Basically, you can customize the PDF the same as we created one. After making all the changes, you can also protect the PDF by setting up a password. So this PDF is all ready. Now let's save this PDF, save or save as. So this is now your own customized PDF. Let me close this. Now another interesting feature of Wondershare PDF element is that you can easily add comments. For instance, if this PDF design was sent to you, let me zoom out, go to comment, you can use this tool like rectangle or circle or your own drawing and add your comments. Click here and add your comment. Save it and you can send it back after the feedback. 
so the other person can easily read and make the necessary changes. And any PDF reader can easily open the file. On top of these, here are some more features of the application. You can compare PDF files. For example, we have these two PDF files. Since both look similar, we are not sure what differences are. So simply compare files, upload it and compare. And you can see the differences of these two files. Likewise, you can combine PDF files. Simply add files. You can change the order if you want. If you don't want a table of content, untick this and apply and save. And so here's the combined PDF. You can also compress the PDF, basically decreasing the file size. Choose what's best and apply, and it will decrease the file size for you. For OCR PDF, choose the file. You will need to download additional software. Now all these are images rather than text, and simply save it. You can convert PDF files too. Choose the PDF file and here are various options available docx, doc, jpz, png, etc. This create PDF is for editing a PDF. You can edit it as we did it earlier. By the way, if you go to the page, you can see all the pages. You can change the page orientation and as well change the orders of the page. Simply drag it to the page order as you want. You can also delete pages. So it's done. You can further edit it or save or save as. So here's the change order PDF. And lastly, here's Batch PDF, which can work on batches. So these are some of the useful and interesting features of the Wondershare PDF element. However, please note that you will need a full version of this app to unlock all features. Anyway, we hope this video is useful. Thank you very much.